Hey guys, happy Thursday. Mrs. Flair and Corey here with another edition of our math puzzles. So on Tuesday, I gave you a puzzle that was a little spooky and channeling Halloween. So let's take a look at that puzzle. So already I'm noticing that this is an area model. So in the top left-hand corner, the number is one. So something times something equals one. Well, I know automatically that the potion must be one because one times one equals one. So potion equals one. Then let's look at the fangs. I know the potion is one, one times two equals two. So the fangs must be two. I can't figure out the hand just yet. So let's take a look at the um, bat. So I know that in the bottom it says 12. Two times bat equals 12. Two times six equals 12. So the bat must be six. Now I can figure out what the hand is because in the middle the bat is six. So two times hand equals six. So the hand must be three. And I can double check that because hand times hand equals nine. Three times three equals nine. And let's look at the moon because bat is six and the hand is three. Six times three equals 18, which equals the moon. So as a review, the potion is one, the hand is three, the bat is six, the fangs are two, and the moon is 18. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that quick little multiplication review of an area model. And guess what? You have a new one today. So check out this lovely problem. Comment below with what you think the answer is and tune in next week to review that problem. Make sure you're checking your Google Classroom. We've reorganized, so make sure you're looking at that classwork tab and check in with your teachers if you have any questions. We miss you all.